Nope. Friday Night Flies. She's live? No, not yet. It's not red. Oh. Maybe it is live. <laughs> we got a new guy in the, yeah, the yeah. here. I'm in control back here. And I, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. We're gonna make sure yeah, we got yeah, working. That's live. Is that yeah, it's wrong. Okay, we're live. Right. 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 All right. For? So, <laughs> sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new guy on the controls in the back end here. Scotty Holmes is usually in front of the vice, but tonight he's I'm behind, the brains behind it. He's behind the computer. <laughs> so if he's doing any funky things like making me wear sunglasses or different hats other than the one I wear every day, you know what's going on. Last week, the boys were playing a little bit of a joke on me too. They uh, put a couple nicks in my thread and I broke about three times on one fly, which never happens. Now that I said that, I'll probably break my line three or four times tonight. But tonight, oh, in case you didn't know, my name is Brad Knowles, owner, operator, of permanent fish finder. I also dabble a little bit in fly tying. I used to tie a lot more when I was younger, but now that I fish practically every day, finding the time for it is just not there. But I still like to do it. And I'm running a bit low <laughs> on this one fly called the Moto Minnow, which I hold dear to myself. Um, let's go down to the bottom. Do you remember how to do that? The little circle at the top there, okay, click so on it. We want to go to camera 910, I think it is. Or you got her figured out? Hold on. Yeah, there you go, 920. You got her? Yep. We're there. Hey, we see the blue lights on. Anyhow. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> and it's probably even in focus. Uh, it is in focus because you did that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, this is... Um, being that we're on Friday Night Flies, I always mess around and try different things. Try to make it better. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, I have I can go through, um, what else have I done today? You know, I'm trying to tie a few different sculpting patterns. Um, see, that's kind of like the same as a Moto Minnow, but it's a little bit darker, a little bit different. Can you see it there? Yeah, no, it looks there? good. So it's got the chartreuse, a little bit chartreuse head. The original Moto Minnow that we started with, this is it right here um you can see here it's got a lot of the same stuff except i've got a red collar on this one and instead of using white yarn we've got to uh we've gone to senyo's laser dub in white just because you can see it changes the yarn and makes the body so full and what I've seen this thing do in the water in comparison to the yarn yarns hard it's when they touch this thing they're more likely to grab it a second time because it's actually pretty soft it's like my pillow I rest my head on <laughs> you know if, if it was hard like this I probably wouldn't want to put my teeth or my head on it so I'm thinking kind of hey let's make it a little bit more supple a little bit more sexy so on and so on that's the spirit Friday night flies we're going to give it a Friday Night Flies twist. But this is the original. Instead of the laser dub, it's just yarn. And there's no collar, which I like to throw a little hot spot. Well, who doesn't like a hot spot? Right? Exactly. So let's get down to the fly. Bang. Boom. I'm excited. Anyhow, I'm uh, like you're not used to using that high-tech computer of mine. I'm not used to your sophisticated vice, so be patient with me. This guy, I hope is simple. It just folds over. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I always give her a little bit of a downhill slope on uh, cone heads, or you'll find that it'll try to chase its butt back to the end. And we start black thread. That's one thing I didn't put on there. It's just uh, uni thread black, 60, I think it is. One. Look at you, Mr. Tight Turner. Hey, got to look good on camera, buddy. And we're going to try to make this as quick as we can. So what we got for the tail is just white marabou. It's very nice, very sexy. And that marabou really seems to be the key with, it, with his fly, too. It just... Oh, yeah, man. It makes it flow. It's like a haircut. I love it. I love it. You can fly. have a good haircut. You can have a bad haircut. And his strong marabou is like having flat top. I I'm going to tie my or own version of the same fly. Yeah, of course. That's that's what we want to inspire is people to get out, start tying different flies, and find one that works really good for you, and then report back to us. Make sure that you tell us what, what you're using and how you're doing it. That's the big one. Share secrets. That's what it's all about. So now we've got this huge saddle, white saddle. 
peel it back. We're going to tie it in at the tip. Roll it over. Tie it back. We're just going to lay it, lay it over this. My, my vice doesn't have these nice, funky little springs. And, you know, you're not too worried about how neat it is right now because it'll be flat or evening out the body as you go along, right? Yeah, as I'm going. I mean, usually I'll leave that bit of whatever I cut off there on the marabou and I'll leave it on the body. It just fills the body out a little bit more. But since I went to the Senyo laser dub, you don't really need to do it. And, you know, I'm not putting it on pretty either. Like, I know I watch both the Scotties. They put it on thin. I put it on fat because I don't have three days to tie flies. I like to get it done and spend my time fishing. So I get it on there, make it happen, get your first first roll. And there's so much on here that you could actually make a mustache for Santa Claus with this stuff. <laughs> so I like to anchor it and then just work my way up. But I'm not putting it on nothing pretty because with that rib, it kind of tucks everything together and then I brush it out. Making it pretty. Oh, pretty flies. Good, pretty good. flies don't catch fish too. You know that, right? Well, I'm I'm trying to design the world's ugliest film fly. There you go. <laughs> so anyhow, we're to make sure it's anchored though. That's the big one with Senyo. If you don't have it anchored, you look back and next thing you know, all you got is black thread and it's all gone. But typically, these flies don't last that long. So when you're wrapping this saddle up, I don't think anything we tie lasts that long. I, I, I can't remember the last time I had a fly and it's like, whoa, this has been catching fish for a lot. It's like they're gone. Yeah, they, they don't last long. If they're working, they don't last long. So we're just working it up. And you can see I'm not worrying too much about how it looks on the wrap because you're going to see the secret here in about half a second. I mean, you can you can spend all day tying a fly. But the key to my success with this, if you want to save yourself time, is this little gadget right here. It's a popsicle stick with a piece of uh, Velcro. And my good friend Scotty Holmes and his daughter – made me a bunch of these things and I wear these things out probably one a week if I'm tying and you can see this one starting to go too because I've got about 10 different colors in it but you take that chunk of velcro and you just peel it back a bit and you just go over that dub 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 see now it's just you can see on camera it's just starting to flatten out <clears throat> and it brings everything back pretty like and it also takes a little bit of that laser dub and puts it in flash into the tail that's key well, at least that it's, that's what I found, anyhow. Yeah. And we anchor it. And at this point, take the rest of that chunk of saddle. Don't throw it away. You're going to see that secondary piece. This chunk of saddle is going to come back in handy here in a half sec. So at this point, I want to make sure everything's anchored. Uh-oh. That's okay. It right. happened. Yep. Hey, we're not tying nothing pretty. So, anchored. And you, if anybody's seeing what just happened there, did, could you see that? Yeah, you can. I broke so, it. Yeah, it I was broke pretty it. quick because you, you, you caught it. I saved it. So at this point, we've got this uh, mallard flank. And the color here is wood duck. You can see it's pretty sparse stuff, but you want to tie it on the right way in the first place. So you want it to lay this way and cup over the fly. And the same thing, I mean, you can spend all day worrying about how the feathers are laying, this, this, that. I mean, as soon as this thing hits the water, it's going to look completely different than it does right here and right now. So, you want to just get that tip tied in. Anchor it. Anchor it good. And you, want, you don't want to put too, too crazy much of this on there. See how I'm following it? Going back. And I can't believe I'm actually chewing gum right now while I'm on national television. For 3 million viewers. 3 or million more. viewers or more, exactly. So you can see what's going on here. We're getting that sparseness. At this point, take this guy, your thread, and get a bit of that stuff out of there. Give it one or two wraps just to lock it down. And then once again... I'm going to show you this Velcro strip that we have here. You don't need to go too crazy with it. That just peels all that stuff out. 
lays it back nice and pretty. And then we take this nifty pair of scissors I got. Try not to cut your thread, because that'll really make a big mess if you do, especially at this point. Tie it back. You can see there's your lines. How's it looking on your side? It's still looks pretty good. good on my side. Yeah, no, it's looking good. And you remember that chunk of saddle that I said, don't throw it away. <coughs> well, I hope I didn't throw it away. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> don't throw it away because you're going to need it. You take that fat chunk. You see, you got and a lot of long stuff. the original motor mill. There is no saddle in the There front. is. Is there? There is, yes. No, there's definitely saddle in it. It's just. Uh, it's only at the front. No, it's on both. It? It's it, the rib is saddle, and then the the collar is also saddle, but it's a it's a little bit more off white. It's a, like a creamy creamy color. So I just incorporated that with the uh, mallard flank in the wood duck because it's got a tanny color to it. So you see what's going on here. You don't want to go too crazy on this stuff because it'll make that fly look really big and funky like. So you only go a couple wraps, like so. They're nice. I always use my Velcro. Take it out a little bit before you cut it off, or you'll cut half of it off. Then take your snippies, snip her off. Your vice is actually pretty nice. It's nice, eh? Yeah, no, I, I really like it. I've been Mine's using the skin, little... like the, the rotary. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty cool. So that one's not quite done. You could leave it like that. But here's the twist. Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies coming to you live. Now we're going to go just light. Light little bit of Sanyos laser dub. If you haven't used this stuff, it's the bomb. You go on down here, Spud Valley Sporting Goods in downtown Pemberton, and you come get some of this stuff. Because it's, it's like fish magnet. Yeah. That's what it is. They, fish see this stuff from like half a river length away, and they come looking for it. I don't know. Maybe it's like something looks like a halo once it hits the water so you don't want to go too thick on this stuff either so i'm going to go pretty sparse peel her back a little bit at that point peel this little bit of stuff off get her nice and tight whip finish that sucker hopefully i'm not rambling too much no 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 good job because i like to ramble you want to get that whip finish right Snugging up tight, the head right, head tight. Head, eh? right tight. I got one piece of, yeah, I'll cut that off later. Nice and tight. And then you cut it off. And then you take your Velcro. And at this point, I kind of like to peel it back up over the head a little bit. Fill her up, and then I hand peel that sucker back. I take a little bit of sweat from my brow, and I put it on there like that. Okay, you see yeah, the difference? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little sweat from the brow. A little bit of oil. A little salty dog. Anyhow, there you go. There's the moto minnow. That's, uh, I don't know how you rotate your vice here. Uh, on, the, on, on the far end. Yeah. This guy? Yeah, but yeah, turn, it, push, turn it the other way. Yeah, the other way. Oh, there you go. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah. Sophisticated. Oh. It doesn't look as good on my side as it does your side. So I'm going to leave this side on the good side, on the camera side. Yeah. It, this side looks really good. It's supposed to look like that on both sides. But once it gets in the water. It's going to. It's going to uniform. It's going to look good. And you know what? Fish are going to come for miles for that sucker. Give you another shot of what the, the original. It's a little bit more sparse. Can you see them both? Yeah. Original, gold head. we got a silver bead here. You've got yarn instead of the dubbing. Both work dynamite. I'm tying this one because I prefer this one over this one. And uh, when you see them both in the water, you're going to agree with me that this one looks a little bit sexier. And uh, I mean, each each uh, body of water has their little thing. Some guys like to put a little chunk of chartreuse on there. Yeah. Some guys that. like to put a little bit of pink on there. Depends on what you're fishing for. The red right now, we're fishing for cutthroat and big bows. What do they like? They like pink. They like red. So I'm going with red, and I'm tying them in pink. So I don't know if I've got a pink one here. I've actually got another version of it, 
um, we're going to call this the fish finder sculpin. And I'm I'm going to save this for another day. But it's it's a similar pattern, but it's got the pink body with the silver head and a different color. I'm not going to give it away because we're going to share it for next week. But that's that's a sculpin. Anyhow, let's take this upstairs. And we're going to get ready. We got uh, hey, we got red right up the top. Yeah. Anyhow, my name is Brad Knowles. I've worked for this great company right here, Permanent Fish Finder. If you haven't visited our website, check it out, permanentfishfinder.com. Check out our fishing reports. See what we're catching. See what our clients are catching. It's going to make you want to come fishing with me, Scotty, Benny, Matt, Merrick. There's a long list, man. Check check out our guides too while you're there. We're all good-looking chaps, handsome, intelligent, and we're a wealth of fishing knowledge. Anyhow, at that point, tight lines, cut it.